All right, Algebra 1, Chapter 1, Section 5, Equations. Um, we've dealt with solving equations. Now we're going to look at different uh, solution sets and just some different looks, maybe some more um, order of operations and equations. So let's take a look at um, just a basic just a basic equation. Let's go uh, 6 plus 5 squared. I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the book. Minus 5, minus 5, divided by 2 equals x. And let's go ahead and solve that for x. Obviously, x is by itself, so we're not going to have to manipulate anything. We just need to do order of operations. So order of operations tells me that I should do my parentheses first. So that's going to be 6 plus 25 minus 5 divided by 2. Scroll down there. So that's going to give me 6 plus 20 divided by 2. Again, showing every step. I want to show every step. I've got addition, I've got division. I need to do that division first. So that's going to be 6 plus 10 equals x, giving me a grand total of x equals 16. I think you will find this section much to your liking because we have already dealt with uh, the order of operations and we've already dealt with solving equations. So this should be um, this should be a piece of cake for all of you, and uh, I enjoy seeing the good grades on the homework test or uh, homework assignments. So, how about some set equations? What if I took um, what if I took the equation? Oh. And I told you that the x set would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And I would ask, which one of those would solve this equation? Well, I can substitute them in each individually. I think that's a huge waste of time. What I would like to do is go ahead and just solve the equation. and find out that my answer is 7. Now, it does have an answer, but you will notice that it is not in the solution set. So my answer for this one is not in solution set. Now, you will notice that the book says no solution to this. I hate using that term because there is a solution. The solution is 7. It is just not in the solution set that's provided. So we're going to use the term not in solution set. Okay, this one's pretty crazy. It takes up the entire board. Um, I want you to go ahead and, and write this problem down and then go ahead and hit pause. And then I want you to work through the problem on your own and see what we come up with. We've got some order of operations here. We've got some equations with variables on both sides. We've got brackets. We've got parentheses. We've got pluses and minuses. Oh, my. They are everywhere. So I'm confident you can work through this. But go ahead and hit pause, and let's see how it goes. Okay, we're back. Let's go ahead and work through all the parentheses. We're going to have 2 times 5, which is 10, minus 8. 3h plus 16, nothing we can do there, no like terms. 2h plus h, that's going to give me 3h. Okay, now combining like terms that we can, I can take that 10 minus 8, which gives me 2. So I'm going to have some distributed property there here in just a second. I cannot put the 3h and the 6 together, but the 2 on the outside is basically 
or not basically, it is the distributed property. I'm going to put it at the front because multiplication doesn't matter. And just bring down that 3h plus 6. So I'm going to draw my arrows. That gives me 6h plus 48. Oh, excuse me. Not 48. That's going to be 32. Good call, Renault. Then I multiply over here. 2 times 3h is going to give me 6h plus 12. Now, what do you see? I see the exact same variable on both sides. When we did our equations with variables on both sides, there was a rule. Um, I could subtract one to the other side, but because they are both the same, I just eliminate them. And I come up with an answer of 32 equals 12, which is absolutely false. So my answer in this case is actually no solution. Remember that if the numbers actually do equal each other, for example, if that was 32 equals 32, then my answer would be all real numbers. But in this case, it is false. So that's Chapter 1, Section 5, Equations. Got about seven minutes worth there. And... Um, that is it.